Hello everyone. So we have this problem where uh, it says uh, two people are racing on a circular track and uh, the first meeting point and the 11th meeting point are the same point on the track as well as uh, it says that uh, the minimum distance between the starting point and the first meeting point the minimum distance is 200 meters wherein we have to find the sum of all possible distinct lengths of the track so I, I hope everybody is aware of uh, this, the relationship between distinct meeting points and everything now just uh, one small thing here suppose uh, they meet at a particular point so let's say they meet the first time here and there are a total of k distinct meeting points on the track so every kth meeting so after the first meeting after k meetings from then they will again meet at this particular point again after k meeting they will meet at this point so this will continue so we can say that 1 plus n k some n number of k meetings they should be meeting at this particular point provided that there are k distinct meeting points as 11 is one of these points so this must be equal to 11 or what we know is n k must be equal to 10 or simply put k must be a factor of 10 now first let's get into this what are the factors of 10 so the possible factors of 10 uh, let me write it here the possible factors of 10 are 1 2 5 and 10 now we can straight away discard this uh, one because of the fact that uh, the first meeting cannot be the starting point because if there is only one meeting point the meeting point that particular meeting point has to be the starting point because you should also know this fact about distinct meeting points that uh, the starting point must be one of the distinct meeting points so if there is one meeting point so that has to be the starting point then where does this minimum distance of 200 meter arise from so the minimum distance must be zero right we are talking about the minimum distance that was the question now uh, so so what are we left off with are these possible values so 2 5 and 10 now if we go one after the other so if we say there are two meeting points So the first meeting has to be on half of the round. So R being the total length of the track. So half of the round can be equal to 200 meters. So this is one possibility. If there are five meeting points. Now I hope you remember this from the concept of distinct meeting points. That anything which is non-reducible can be the first meeting point. So one-fifth of the round or two-fifths of the round each of these are different possibilities we can also have three fifth and four fifth but one thing i'm just going back here so if it is one fifth let's say this is one fifth right uh, let's say there are five meeting points in total uh, just don't consider this as one of the points so let us discard this one now so we have this point this point this point and this point so if, if it is one fifth one fifth matlab this much right so if this is one fifth, then this is the minimum distance. If it is four fifth, then the minimum distance would be considered anti-clockwise and that would again be one fifth. So this is symmetrical. So we don't have to take the cases three fifth and four fifth out here. So all we have to do is one fifth of the round or two fifth of the round. So one fifth of the round can be 200 meters or two fifth of the round can be 200 meters. Again, if we have 10 meeting points, so the possibilities are 1 tenth, 2 tenth is reducible, so don't need to consider that, 3 tenth, again 4 tenth is reducible, 
five tenth is reducible, and beyond that, again, that symmetry arises because one tenth and nine tenth would be same, three tenth and seven tenth would be same, clockwise and anti-clockwise, right? So one tenth of the round could also be two hundred meters, and three tenth of the round could also be two hundred meters. So in each of the cases, let us figure out the length of the track. So in this case, the length of the track is 400 meters. In this case, it is 1000 meters. In this case, we have 1000 by 2, so that is 500 meters. Here we have 2000 meters, and in this case, we have 2000 by 3, so approximately 666 meters. Uh, let's round it off. So basically what we have is 400, 1,500, 2,000 and these possibilities. So if we add these possibilities, so let me just take these down. So we have 400, we have 1,000, we have 500, 2,000 and 666.66. So if we take a sum of these possible values, then we get the sum of all possible distinct lengths of the track and that is what the question is looking for right so just reiterating here so this was for half of the round this thing was for one fifth of the round this was for two fifths of the round this was for one tenth of the round and this one was for three tenth of the round so if we simply add these values, uh, which comes out to be what, 915.66 and uh, we have a total of 4566.66 meters is the total of all possible distinct lengths of the track. So it's a simple question. The only thing is uh, being tested here is uh, the knowledge about distinct meeting points. So if, if you feel that you are lacking in this concept or something, then uh, you can comment below in the section and uh, we will try to provide some other videos which will elaborate a little more about distinct meeting points but uh, it's highly recommended that you attend the classes uh, so that you, give, you can interact a little bit more about distinct meeting points and it's an important concept it repeats in CAT over and over again so thanks for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and do join us in our Facebook group, our small community that we have. And you can also like our Facebook page. The descriptions will be given below. So thank you for watching once again. Have a nice day.